Hey guys, so today is going to be another red video and I will be talking about binders which are such a lifesaver. I mean honestly, binders for me have been just the best thing to ever happen to me because oh, I, just, I don't know where I would be today without, without my binders. I mean, like seriously, I'm not even over exaggerating. They have made such a difference to my confidence and to you know, just how I feel about myself in general <sighs> even though you know life would be a lot easier if I didn't have to bind all the time but it's the price you pay for having a manly chest I honestly can't wait until I have um, top surgery but that's not going to be for a while yet and meanwhile I've got these that are just helping me through so much okay basically I have two binders uh, one is from Underworks which is my first ever proper binder and the other one is from GC2B I'm gonna do like a bit of a review on the binders and just tell you a bit about them and how they work for me and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now I'm wearing my Underworks binder because it's a lot easier to get on and off I'm gonna show you what both of them are like if I like so you guys my chest and my underworks it's not completely flat uh it is very old i've had it for coming up to a year the underworks binder works really well it's very uncomfortable when you first get it um i found it was a lot more harder to breathe and it it kind of rubbed a little bit under the arms and stuff but I've heard real horror stories about the underworks binders and for me I've not really experienced that. For me my underworks binders have been a good a positive experience. And yeah, so for me the underworks binders have worked well, but since getting a GC2B binder I've found that I don't need to wear this one as much. Um if I need to wash the GC2B then of course I'll wear this one, but at the moment my GC2B is my priority. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Um so I'm just gonna strip for you. Uh Okay, they're both very similar in looking, but I don't know if you can tell I have much of a difference, but I feel it, and yeah, so you might not be able to see it, but I can definitely feel it. Okay, I'm feeling naked, but if you can see it, um, and yeah, so this is, it, it just basically looks like a black tank top, and it's, it, it, it's great, it really is. Um, with this binder, I feel, although it flattens well, it doesn't flatten as well as I would like it to, and um, I kind of don't feel as comfortable in clothing as what I do with the GC2B. Um, also, I found that this shows quite a bit under clothing. Um, when I'm wearing the clothes, you can kind of see this strap bit there, but it doesn't matter. I didn't, I didn't feel conscious of it at all. But it is a lot easier now that I have a different binder that doesn't show under clothing and I feel a lot more com confident. Um, and yeah, so... Whew, gonna move back a little bit just to show you more of a view. I can't explain to you how much this made a difference to my life. I mean, it just... I can't. <laughs> it honestly makes such a difference. It compresses here. There's just like a mesh here that... Compre there's like compression here and you can really feel it it's very noticeable on the clothing like, as well um, it's also very thick and it's obvious that it's there you can really feel it um, and it's quite a bit there's quite a big back compression which if I wear it for a long period of time it does start to give me a bit of back ache I also get a bit of shoulder ache in here this for me although it is not as comfortable I prefer the material, how the material feels with this one, but honestly, this this binder, which is my GC2B, is amazing. It's actually designed for transgender people, whereas this, I think, it's just designed for cis guys. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna show you what this one looks like on. Hi guys, so I'm back, and this is my GC2B. You probably can't see that much of a difference on camera, but I really feel a lot better in this binder, it flattens me out a lot better and um, although it's a lot more difficult to get on, that is one bad thing about this, it is insanely difficult to get on um, 
but I'm sort of getting used to that now and it's getting slightly easier. But um, I'm sorry, I'm just rubbing my chest a lot. <laughs> when you get your first binder, I guarantee you're going to be doing this the entire time, just thinking, what is this? This is this is this is amazing. What? <laughs> um, I literally the first time I ever got a binder, I just freaking couldn't stop rubbing my chest. I was like, yeah, pumping up my chest, just like looking at myself in the mirror, taking some sel mirror selfies, <laughs> and yeah. So binders are incredible. I can't express it enough. The material is kind of a spandex material. It's not. I don't, I, don't, I can't explain it. I feel more comfortable in this kind of material it's like a softer like like a fabric material if that makes sense um but this one it's um takes some time to get used to because i've been used to that one for so long um this one felt more like a tank top like it, it, it feels like clothes just a little bit thicker than most clothing and this one it kind of just feels almost like a swimming costume but when you wear your clothes over the top of it you can't even feel that it's there so that's one good thing you can't feel that you're wearing it um it's very light which is great it's like this one can be very heavy and can weigh you down you know it's there with this one you can sometimes forget it's there which is quite a good thing and it is a lot easier to breathe in and yeah uh another thing like i said it flattens me out a lot better it gives me more of a male looking chest I'm just going to go over here and show you what it looks like from over here. Um, yeah, this is what this one looks like. Ooh. Um, and yeah, so I would highly recommend getting a GC2B. Most people are getting it now instead of Underworks, and there's been a lot more positive experiences with this. The only thing that sometimes happens with this is I will be out in public, and this bit here at the bottom will lift up sometimes. So I was like on the tube the other day and it started lifting up and I could feel it and I was just like, oh my god, how am I going to pull this down? It literally felt like my top was lifting up and I was like, this is kind of awkward stuff, so having, having to kind of discreetly lower it down. And that's one thing I would say that negative about this, but honestly I couldn't wish for a better binder. Both of them are great, but this one I would recommend my viewers to get. Um, although it is a lot harder to get on, it's worth it when it's finally on. Um, sorry, I'm doing this so much in this video, I just feel kind of naked, I feel like I'm standing in front of you naked, and it's kind of weird. Okay, how to get on a binder. I thought, I think this might be helpful for some people. So, for me, the best ways to put on the bi these binders are totally different. With this, I kind of step into it, and pull it up, it's got keep, and it's going to be... When you first get a binder, it's going to be really, really tight, so you're going to have to persevere with it, keep trying to pull it up, don't hurt yourself or anything, but it will go on eventually, unless it's too small, but it will most likely go on you. Um, if it gets stuck at your hips, then just keep wiggling those hips and try and pull it up. You're going to feel, when you first put on a binder, really weird, and it's not going to feel too good, but you will get used to it and I'm completely used to it and it's just part of my day to day life now I have to plan around binding and the only thing is with binding it's very you get very dependent with it and I kind of figured that out but when I first started binding I could kind of bind for one day and then not bother the next day but I have to bind every day and I can't not bind so what I do is what I would recommend some people doing is buying a Sports bra off of Underworks. It's a compressing sports bra, and um, it needs a bit of a wash. So sorry about that. Um, and this thing helps me so much. It doesn't compress as much as as much as a binder, but it's you can breathe in it a lot better, and it it's meant for people to um, exercise in. If if you struggle to exercise in binders get this, you can exercise in it, and it should compress you enough to make you feel less self-conscious about your chest. But all of, the, all of this is for smaller chest guys, really. Um, you can try it if you're a bigger chested guy, but I'm quite, quite a small guy, so um, this works for me. It may not work for you, but it works for me, but I'm going to try and get, put that out there. This is worth getting. Um, so after a long day out, I, I, um, and I'm feeling like struggling to breathe or 
my shoulders start aching, which would happen when my underwear works. I'll take it off and then put this on, and I'm fine for the rest of the, rest of the night. The only thing is, do not sleep in it. Do not sleep in your binder, do not sleep in your sports bra, just let your chest breathe for the night because you can get some serious, like, problems if you sleep in a binder. Um, you can get rib damage and it, it can do a lot of damage and I highly, 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 uh, actually I'm telling you, do not sleep in your binder. Yes, it's horrible, we have to take it off at the end of the day and you're faced with what you have there but just ignore it and go to sleep and just, just just don't sleep in it because it's not worth it and then you're going to be sore for a long time and then you won't, have, you won't be able to bind so yeah that's my biggest tip get a GC2B binder on which I found tip uh, very difficult to do I put it on over my head and I don't know if that's recommended but I do that because it's a lot easier because they will not they might do it for you, but they would not get past my hips. I literally tried, and I literally felt like they were gonna tear. I was actually trying to put the, bring the binder up, and I got it up here, and I couldn't put my arms through it. It was a nightmare, so I decided to try the other way, and the other way is so much easier. So I put it over my head, and then I put my arms through, and it's gonna be a really big squeeze. Get you gotta push through. It's very difficult to get down, but keep pushing it down, and you will get there eventually. But I'm sure you guys will figure out the best way to put your binder on for your own sales but I just thought I'd give some tips and um, I think that's all to do with binders if I think of anything else I'll do another video on binders at some point okay so that's the end of my video I really hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and yeah thank you so much for watching okay goodbye just quickly guys I thought I would show you what my sports bar looks like on and yeah so um this is what it looks like. It doesn't flatten me out that great, but it flattens me out enough to make me feel less disappointed about my chest. But I just thought I'd quickly show you that because I'm recommending getting one of these. But, um, yeah. Going for good now. Bye, guys.